Okay, hey guys. So yeah, not doing that today. Sorry. <laughs> Just don't feel like it. So I am Jenny, Princess of Katie. If you don't know it <laughs> already, if you're new, hi, hi. Hope you like what you get. Um, subscribe, ring the bell every time I <laughs> upload. That way you'll know every time I doing another video and no my hair is not blue it's purple it's just well this part is blurple because the blue i had in it never really completely came out so anyway <clears throat> because i don't have light on it you can't see anyway so that's fine i've been just i don't know kind of having a rough time because of uh, shoulder issues and, you know, sometimes I just get down because of my illness. And it that's normal. And I've got a lot of stuff going on that I can't talk about yet because I don't know what's going on. Like, we see it, but we don't know, like, serious, not serious, all that stuff. So instead, I decided to do a story time and this one is actually kind of cute well there I, I mean I have really good ones and I have really nasty ones but this one is after I had I'd already quit uh, left Disney so for my friends in Florida you'll get this better than my friends in California <laughs> that worked for the company um and there's a few of you that'll get it even more so, oh gosh, okay, what, um, my husband and I just celebrated Earth, so, so seven years ago, so this happened seven years ago, this happened on our 10th wedding anniversary, and we typically go to Disneyland, now, we do go to Disney World, I worked in both, I was in the entertainment at, at, um, Disney World, I got to do a little bit of everything, and that was great, and I loved it. And I wish I could have kept going. Um, but one of those things I did, especially when it first started, was at the time what they called character greeting. Um, and that's, you know, where there's a person next to Winnie the Pooh or whatever. And they're the ones that keep the line going and all that. Um, but at this point in time... Like I said, this was seven years ago. So at this point in time, I had been gone from any type of entertainment that I did at Disney for goodness, at least a decade or close to a decade. Um, but the reason my husband and I like to go to Disneyland is it turned 50 when we got married. So when we went for our... 10th wedding they turned 60 so but we alternate a lot and we also do the cruise lines which you know I mean if we renewed our vows on the cruise lines hey um so when we went to Disneyland they had changed um where Ariel's grotto used to be and she is the reason I got into entertainment <laughs> Because she saw me standing in line for rocket rods. For old schoolers who know about that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so they turned Ariel's Grotto into Tinkerbell. Yeah. So that was really, really cool. It was Neverland. And I wanted to go in. And I wanted to see the different fairies and I went, of course I wanted to see Tinkerbell so you know we're going through it and and Chris kind of was like you know what it's hot I'd like to go sit down I went okay go ahead so he exited Neverland to go sit down at this point I have I've already seen Silver Mist and um a few others I don't remember I don't remember at the moment. Um, sorry, because this part takes takes a lot of memory. So the next was Tinkerbell, and Tinkerbell and I were talking, and we were having a great discussion. 
And I notice out of the side of my eye that there is a little, a little boy that's causing an absurd, you know, he's just being him. And I realize, oh, that's Peter Pan. <laughs> and he peeks his head in and he's like, hi, Tinkerbell. And she shoots him away and he goes away. And we finish our meet and greet and we had a good time. And I come out of never, you know, the little hollow. Um, and there's Peter Pan. And I'm like, okay. And he's got kids around him. And I'm just like, well, that's cute. I was watching him for a second. I start going towards my husband um, for you. I mean, you all know I'm in a wheelchair. So when we do the parks, I run a scooter. It's easier. Um, I can be a lot more independent. I don't get tired as easily as if I was using my wheelchair. Um, and all of a sudden I hear, Wendy. <laughs> Like, what? And I'm looking around, I'm like, where's Wendy? Did she come from, where, is Wendy from, like, where is she? Because <laughs> I was like, I hear Peter Pan scream Wendy. And I'm like, okay, where is she? I want to see her. And then I see a foot on my scooter. And I look up. I know this foot. I know this shoe very well. And I look up, and it's Peter. And I go, yes, Peter? And he goes, I need you to tie my shoe, Wendy. And I looked at him, and I went, what do we say? And he goes, now? And I went, no, what do you say? Was what I got. Please, please, Wendy, tie my shoe. I was like, okay. But you know, just because I'm a girl, that doesn't mean my name is Wendy. He's like, oh. He's like, will you please tie my shoe? So I tied his shoe. He's like, the other one too? And I'm like, okay, the other one too. <laughs> and I went, are you having a good day? And he goes, oh yeah, I can't wait to go back to Neverland. And he's like, do you want to hear me crow? And I'm like, of course I do. Guys, I'm an adult. There were children. And it was so cute because it made me miss days at Disney World when Peter would come visit Disney World. And he was just like, you know, and he stayed there and him and, and I played with the children and, you know, and the kids got into it and they started calling me Wendy and it was just the cutest thing. It was so cute. And it really, really made me miss Disney World. Now, for those who don't know, at Disneyland, I was in college program. So that was only, you know, a three-month program. Um, and the California one is run completely different than the, the Disneyland. Um, so... You know, I, I didn't have anything to do. Well, I did towards the end, but I didn't have anything. To, I mean, I didn't get to see Peter Pan on a daily basis when I worked at Disneyland. Um, it was much different when I worked at Disney World. Um, and I also have a really good story time about Peter or about Wendy at Disney World. That I'll tell another time that does also have Peter Pan in it. But I just thought this was the cutest thing because... Right before I had left Tinkerbell Crisco's Peter Pan's out, out there. And I'm like, oh, that'd be fun. You know, I'll just sit and watch him. Because all I wanted to do was watch him play with the kids and, and, and sign autographs and take pictures. I wasn't expecting <laughs> out of nowhere to be sucked into it. Which, of course, I love Peter. I love him so much. But I just thought it was so funny that... You know, when he came up to me, he called me Wendy, and I'm looking for Wendy, and there's no Wendy. And, I mean, okay, so my hair wasn't pink and purple then. It was red, but, you know, my natural. 
but it was just one of those things, you know, one of those experiences that you can never, um, you know, you're just so lucky to have those experiences. Um, working as a cast member, I love giving those types of experiences. And, you know, as me now, I love getting those experiences. They don't happen nearly enough. Um, but that's okay. But, I mean, just to give me a smile, just to, you know, and I don't know why he chose me. I don't know. Did it say <laughs> on, on my forehead, helper, greeter, cast member? I don't know. Who knows? Um, and, and, and this is not my one and only, like, character encounter years later where I'm being asked to do something or being pulled away or <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so, you know, it's definitely something, something I love. And, um, and I hope for those who have ever been to the parks, I hope you'll have those magical moments. I mean, those are some of my best memories. And I am going to post this on Facebook. And there's a few people I hope will see this. Y'all, <clears throat> and those people who see this, y'all are part of that magic for me. You were then, and and you, you're still in my good memories um, from then, to, or, you know, and, um, and it's just such a blessing that I was able to work with you guys, um, before I changed, you know, changed to a different position in the, in the company. And then, um, and then shortly later had to leave because of my illness. Um, but I definitely love those memories. And honestly, I wish I had pictures. So, I mean, I don't know. I doubt y'all have any pictures of me. But if you do, that would be awesome. Um, I doubt it, though. That's really good at, like, hiding. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, somebody on a forum posted a photo. And I realized <laughs> that was me. Um... So that was kind of cool. Um, but I just thought that everybody needed a little sprinkle of pixie dust today. Um, and a little story about Peter. Um, he was so much fun. And we played a few games um, with the kids. And I was... <laughs> I, think, I think what it is is the adults... We're not willing to do it. And I'm like, okay. He, well, he already chose me to, to, to tie his shoe. I did make him say please. And I did make him say thank you. <laughs> so we have to have those manners. So I think that's it for this story time. I hope you guys like it. Um, I hope, you know, y'all are having a good day. And keep everything enchanted, guys, and bye.